Hey everybody, hope you're all doing good this morning. Just out here in the tackle room this morning getting ready for a Fish the Moment instructional on the water lesson tomorrow at Grand Lake and um, prepping some stuff for that trip and wanted to do today's tip on something that I'm sort of getting a few things ready for. And that is sort of the difference between plastic or pork for a jig trailer. And this is sort of something you don't hear about much anymore because it's like, you know, Uncle Josh, you made all the pork frogs. You know, I think they quit making it, all, you know, years ago. Um, which bummed me out because I used to use pork all the time, a lot, you know, and especially cold water jig fishing. But actually, they just started coming out with it again. Um, and uh, my wife actually got me a jar for, for Christmas here, uh, the new Uncle Josh pork frogs. And um, just sort of want to go over a little bit, uh, you know, some of my thoughts on pork versus plastic on it. Um, first of all, like I said, most you know, 99% of the people out there have gotten away from pork. A lot of people have never even tried this stuff before because it's sort of like, the, unless you were back in the day like me, you know, you know, started fishing a long time ago, uh, you probably don't even know what pork is. It hasn't been available. Um, soft plastic technology has gotten so good that, you know, it's replaced pork completely. You don't have the accessibility to pork anymore. So a lot of the newer generations of anglers have probably never even tried pork, but it used to be a mainstay in my jig fishing really up until about 15 years ago when they quit making it. Um, so sort of want to go over the differences on this a little bit because it looks like, you know, pork going to start being available again. So I sort of wanted to give you some tips on it and, you know, when to choose what. First of all, um, for most all of my jig fishing, you know, I, I use Zoom trailers exclusively. I use the, you know, the big salty chunk. I use the super chunks. Uh, Critter Cross, you know, Speed Cross, they make a, a wide variety of jig trailers that you can use. And the best thing about a plastic jig trailer is um, you have consistency in the way the bait looks. You got a wide variety of colors. Um, they're supple. There's a lot of advantages to them. They look like pork. Um, you know, they're just uh, very versatile because there's a lot of different sizes out there that you can put on different type of jig trailers. You've got the ones that you can thread on, like the big salty chunks, or you got the, I mean, the uh, put on like the pork frog on the end of the jig, um, you know, like this, which uh, this is the way that people used to fish jigs all the time, just hanging them off the, the end of the jig. Or you've got varieties that you can thread on there, uh, you know, that secure the, the trailer to the jig a little bit better. Now the pork, on the other hand, a little bit different. Um, here's one of the new Uncle Josh pork frogs. That, you know, as you can see, this thing looks pretty stiff in the water. And this is one of the big downfalls of pork is you don't have the consistency to it. A lot of times like this one, see the leg was crooked out of the package. Um, so, and they're stiff sometimes. So uh, that's the big downfall about pork is you don't have the consistency in the texture of it or the look. And also you don't have the color options available. You don't have glitters. And you basically got black, brown, blue, and some type of greens or whites. That's about it. But uh, I'm going to give you a few tips on using both of them. First of all, one of the things I do with my pork when I get it, um, before I use it, is I, I usually take a hammer and I beat it up. I'll just, you know, I'll just take it like a meat tenderizer sort of, and just go all over it, beat it up. You know, I'll pull the legs out, you know, trying to get the legs straight. And on top of that, um, as you can notice, the pork that's pretty thick here. And this isn't like plastic, this is hard. This is pretty thick. One of the biggest uh, problems that you had with pork back in the day is the hook penetration factor on there because the bait is hard. It's not like a hook can go through there. And a lot of times what would happen is the hook point would actually accidentally get lodged up in part of the pork and you'd lose the fish every time because it was so tough that you couldn't penetrate it. So one of the things I always do to my pork, first of all, is I'll slice the legs up all the way to the to the head on it. You know, just, you know, take some of that out a little bit more. And then I always uh, take some off right here. I'll take the, some off the front of the bait, like that. And see, you can see that right there. I've got a lot less of an edge on there. You know, maybe even sometimes more like that. And see, that gives you a lot bigger bite gap in your hook. And sometimes I'll even take it off the side depending upon the bulk that I want. But the thing about pork is I like to use pork in really heavily stained water. Um, 
you know, and I probably will probably even start doing that sometime too. Colder water that's heavily stained is really good for pork. There's something about the bulk of it. There's something about the, you know, the, the, the salt, the taste that they have on it. They just really like it sometimes. And I, it's not just exclusively for cold water um, because I'll use it sometimes in the summer too. But my main um, consideration for when I choose pork is water visibility. If I have water visibility of less than 12 inches um, and the bass are pretty aggressive <clears throat> and there's some good sized fish in the lake, that's when I like to use pork. I mean, I just, I think there's just sometimes that it's a little bit better than the soft plastic. Now, on the other hand, the soft plastic, like I said, the, the big advantages of the soft plastics, like the Zoom Big Salty Chunk, is just the, the, the consistency of it. You can see the actions a lot better on it. The colors, you know, you got glitters on it like that. You can do a lot of modifications with it. There's a lot, you know, more versatile piece of plastic. But I think there's a, a role for both of them. I think there's a, there's, a, there's a place that you can use both pork and plastic. You know, a lot of the bigger tournaments that I've won in my career have come on a jig and a pork frog, probably because, you know, back then they didn't have as much plastic. But still, I've used it up until, I think, <clears throat> I think the last year that I started using pork uh, in my tournament competition was like 2003, 2004. And that's back when it was pretty hard to come by, but a lot of people didn't use it back then. But anyway, like I said, um, I'm sort of excited that they're coming out with it again. Um, I do think there's a place for it all the time in your fishing. There's nothing better than, you know, putting a big flipping stick in your hand with 30 pound test line and an old school jig and pork frog and just going fishing. But uh, I'll mix it up a lot too, because if I'm in a hardcore jig bite, um, normally what I'll do is I'll have five or six different type of jigs set up. I may have one with like a jig and a pork frog trailer. I may have, you know, one with a jig and a big salty chunk, maybe one with a jig and a super chunk trailer. Um, you know, just sort of mixing it up as far as giving the bass a different look, a different color option, different profile, that type of stuff. But anyway, you know, don't get locked out of it. Give it a try. You know, like I said, I'm not endorsing, you know, pork at all. I don't get anything out of pork. I just like to use it sometimes because it'll catch bass. And it's just sort of one of those things that just might add up to a few more fish for you uh, throughout the course of a year. Um, uh, especially now since a lot of people don't use it and you know a lot of people get so locked in with plastic trailers that the fish just don't get a sea pork anymore and there may be like a little resurgence about it you know if, if this continue if they continue to come out with this and they make some good quality pork with some decent color options you may see like a surge the next year or so on the jig and a pork frog trailer making a comeback you never know but i'm definitely going to mix it up along with my zoom trailers and um I'm sort of excited to, to, to give it a try because it's been a decade or so since I've used it. So anyway, I'm going to get back to work here. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. We'll check in later. See you.